Hello, it's me once again. Uh, I might sound familiar, and that's because it's been about five minutes since the last one. I actually had so much fun recording the first one that I decided, hey, why not? Why not record a second one uh, for the first ever time in the short history of this channel? So yeah, let's let's get it going. Uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I did not expect to record a second. Uh, so we're just going to go to Cinder 8, because why not? And I'm not sure I should choose random. Uh, because these cinders actually kind of scare me a little bit. The curse one, I'm not really sure I understand it. Rooms will up. Does this mean we get uh, an additional curse every floor? That seems like a nightmare. I guess that's what the... What is it? This one? The sacra sacramental bread is for? So I guess we use that. Or we can go the, the curse dude. Or did they change his thing? Who was it? Wasn't it this guy? No, it was this one. Oh, they did change it. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Okay, then let's random then. I don't know if there's a uh, an easier option. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll bite. Sure, why not? Let's let's roll the worst class in the game. Um for my first Oh, interesting. What did that do? I don't know what that did. I guess I just have it now. I hope. Absolution 3. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I can't wear equipment either. This will be fun. Um, yeah, let's, let's get it going. I only got hit once last time, so how could this possibly go wrong? Just ignore the fact that I had like an insane amount of DPS. And we'll be okay. So I was taking a, a short break before I had decided to actually record this one. And I was thinking about the first episode, and I realized that I didn't actually remember much of the actual run. Beyond like major points and major weapons. Like every individual room ju was just like not in my memory. Which is a little spooky. Um, but I guess the rooms go by. It really wants us to go in, so I guess we'll go in. The individual rooms are pretty short, so I guess that makes sense. And I think the whole two episodes in one night, uh, that's something I've never done before. Ooh, lethality. Oh, but vitality would be good for the curses. Mm. I think I'll go with vitality, just because I'm kind of scared of the the whole curse thing. Oh, a new door that hurts you want to enter? That sucks. I hate it. Uh, oh, this is the curse. Oh, they're wait, they're actually like real. Wait, is curse not just you lose a heart container? Oh, wait, that sucks. Okay. Or is it only on this? Curse absolved. Oh, it's only on the room. Oh, I didn't have to be scared at all. Okay. I'm like actually fine then. Um, I remember none of the other cinders. So, oh, okay. Here we go. Extra enemies. That's actually going to be... Scary, because that, that messes with the muscle memory. And the muscle memory is what's carrying me. So anything that tampers with that is... Okay, we should be fine. Is scary. But yeah, two episodes one day. Uh, I think my voice will give out near the end. I can already feel the, the beginning of the end. Oh, he gets another set? Oh, that's okay. 
This, oh, they have beans. Oh no. Okay, this is, I understand. I understand the difficulty. Yeah, my voice uh, is almost certainly gonna give out near the end, uh, but that's okay. It's expected. Uh, and it's the weekend. So I'm not gonna have to talk anyways. <laughs> that's that's the nice thing about living alone too, right? Uh, you can kind of just do whatever. And if you lose your voice for a weekend, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, cool. More vit. If we get that tipsiness trait, I think I'll probably take it. Because we'll have uh, actually kind of a lot of health. Although we are going in kind of on accident. That's okay. Maybe we'll just get strength. That would be sick. Yeah, one of the other things I was kind of leaning towards trying when I was thinking of what games to play to record something. Uh, I kind of wanted to just buy like Jump Kit and give it a try. Ooh, fancy. It's a shame we'll probably never use it. Uh, Cause, oh, actually I'm not, I think I've used all of these before. Hmm, we're going int. Whether intentionally or not. I think this one's probably the best, but I don't want to use it. Yeah, I remember why that one was the best. And we'll keep this on too, I guess. So I was looking at... Um, or I was thinking about streaming just one game. Ah, okay, I should back up like a little bit. Uh, I wanted to record something. Because... Uh, I wanted to. That's the end of it, actually. Uh, but I couldn't decide what to do because I didn't really want to play Minecraft because I have no direction in that game. And playing games without a direction is uh, oh, is a good way to be bored. Uh, oh, that's great. Okay. I shouldn't have gone in here. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll play a game with a goal. A goal and no story because I don't want to have to read story. I already struggle to keep the thread of conversation alive. Um, I would be like silent in a story game. Ooh, let's do this one. All you have to do is walk at it and it, the curse is just gone. This is not actually that difficult. The description made it sound a lot scarier than it is. And we'll go all stats because we can't, or we don't um, get to wear armor without losing some of our damage. So I thought, okay, no story. He needs to have a clear goal. I've taken damage. Oh no. It's a bad omen. No story. It should have an end goal. Tiny Rogues fits that. That was my first thought. Played it before, which means I won't be confused on the mechanics. Uh, I can kind of pass off playing the game to autopilot and just kind of talk, which has mostly been true. Uh, there's actually more content than I thought there would be, so less of it is as automatic as I would have liked. But we're, we're, we're getting there. And then I thought, okay, well, there's also games like Jump King where there's a very clear end goal, but the process to get there is... Um, okay, so we could pivot strength, and I think I will try. Uh, the process to get there is like non-deterministic, right? Like there is no losing a game like Jump King. It just, you lose when you quit, right? So in a game like this, you lose when you die. Ooh, let's take this. We don't have crit stuff. Oh, we do have Krista. Uh, oh, no, we don't. This is attack speed. Okay, never punished. Um, in a game like this, you lose when you die, right? So there's a very clear, uh, like, not time limit per se, but you either win or you lose. And it's usually like half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, also, we're not pivoting strength. I lied to you uh, once again. 
I can't believe that lost the thread. I was doing so well. I'm gonna just buy this. Um, I'm kind of scared to do this, but I will do it anyway. Right, I remember where I was. Yeah, you lose when you quit in a game like Jump King because it's just three purging stones. I don't need that many. I haven't even been cursed yet. Yeah, we'll skip it. It's a difficult game. Once again, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Because I lose... I don't remember exactly where I left off. So I will, like... I'll back up to where I think I was. But that phrase of... You lose when you quit... Sounds so... Like I'm inducing deja vu in myself. Which is crazy. Oh, actually... Let's take the chest. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. We need a one-handed weapon, too. Uh, so, yeah. It was a game that I want to try. Because I... Oh, we can't wear this. Yeah, I actually don't want it either. But I can sell it. I want to try it because it's supposed to... Like, it's infamous for being hard. And being frustrating. And I want to see what that feels like when I'm also recording. Oh, I can see why this is hard. But I want to see what that's like when I'm recording it. Because for a game like this or a game like Minecraft, um, or at least the way I played Minecraft, there really wasn't any frustration, right? Um, the way I set up, that's also not true. When the creeper farm just didn't work, that was a little frustrating. But then again, I didn't have a goal. I just walked over that route. I didn't even see it. Uh, I had no goal, so it's it's hard to be frustrated when you don't have a goal, right? Because with no goal, like, I feel as though frustration is born out of, like, not being able to do something that you want to do or that you're trying to do. And if you're not really trying to do anything, then you can't really be frustrated, right? <clears throat> also, this run is in dire straits. Uh, I should not have taken this weapon. I should have taken the one that I knew was better. Uh, but that's okay. But a game like Jump King, that's like literally designed to be frustrating. I think I die on this room. I don't think I killed this boss. That's crazy. I feel like I was doing so well, and then I just stopped. Oh, I think it's because... Okay, yeah, we're getting hit for bonus damage from one of the cinders, I think. Yeah. And we can't use that. I don't think I will live through Megadeth. Yeah, but, like, wh imagine. Imagine if I did, though. And didn't just die on this room. Oh, this one has the little bots, too. These bots make it so much worse. Like, I really didn't uh, expect it to be this bad. But having that, like, single additional layer of projectiles has made it immensely more difficult. Not really. That was kind of hyperbole, but you get what I mean. You can't just circle the boss and not take damage anymore. Which is tragic for me, personally. But yeah, I just like the concept of sitting down and streaming a game for however long it takes to beat it sounds like a, a slog, right? I don't think I would do that if I wasn't streaming. Oh my god, I almost just died. If I wasn't streaming or recording it. Because um, I'm very much the type of person to be playing a game and I'm a if I'm not like enjoying it or feeling as though I'm making progress in some manner, then I'll just like Alt F4. Uh, strength. We're getting kind of screwed here. And by we, I mean me, but also you, because you're here. Um, I have so many keys. Uh, how close are we to 10? Not really that close. We're going in. Okay, let's go to the chest. But so yeah, a game like Jump King, if I played it on my own, 
I would probably quit like a half an hour in if I wasn't doing well. Spawn a mana star. Okay, these aren't bad. Not bad at all. Do I want to pay the chest? Yeah, yeah, why not? Live a little bit. Take some damage. I would quit with like half an hour, within like half an hour of starting, if I didn't make progress. Which is kind of what it's designed to be, right? Like you, um, if you've never seen the game, you're a guy and you have to jump from platform to platform up a very tall map. Um, oh, this is, Beetle Wand is really good. Yeah, that might actually just save it. Um, and yeah, we get the extra health from our offhand as well. Yeah, so you jump from platform to platform up the screen, and then if you fall, you will fall uninterrupted until you hit some platform. And the map is designed such that uh, you're going to fall a while. Like, it's, it's designed to be frustrating. So I would certainly be frustrated, right? Because I'm not a pro gamer, I would say. I don't think I care about the decks. But if I'm streaming it, then I've, I'm still making progress in that I'm still making content. So I don't know if I would feel that same frustration, right? Keys. Oh, I don't have money for drinks. Oh, that's okay. This guy has a different color this time around. Oh. Whoa, a golden dice. I don't, okay. Hmm. We can get health pots. Oh, we can't really afford anything. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, since I'll be creating content regardless of if I fail or not, I don't know if I'll feel that same frustration. So I wanna, I wanna test it. Cause if that's the case, then that opens the door to so many other games, right? Maybe? I guess only games that are designed to be frustrating. Which, really, it's a pretty slow, not slow, small number of games. You get, I don't want to be poisoned. Oh, wait, what? So I didn't get the curse absolved this time. But I also don't have the effect. Oh, okay, that was the absolution thing. Okay, I think, n I don't understand. Nope, I don't get it. No clue. It is too late in the night for my brain to be, uh, like trying to puzzle out what's happened over the last three floors. Although I'm thinking about it anyways, despite saying that I wouldn't think about it. So this is floor four, and we had three of that absolution, so. I think that this is the first time the curse is actually triggered. And it, it must trigger like a few seconds into the room starting. And that's why we would see curse absolved every time I went close to it, because I just happened to walk close to it. Oh my lord. Okay. That makes sense. So, and then I think it's a temporary curse. Oh, I'm so bad. I don't have a health pot either. And I'm not going to use my potions because I'm greedy. That's okay. We're fine. What are you? Oh, that seems good, right? Maybe. I mean, the curses haven't been all that bad, really. They've just been like 5% more enemy health. Ah, oh, they're kind of... I guess we are kind of pivoting. Or do I want the gold? I want the health, actually. Getting to 10 would be nice. 10 strength. 
So who knows, you might actually see a, a stream on this channel. Uh, with zero viewers. For like, four hours while I fail to play Jump King. Or you may never. That may never come to pass. It's kind of a toss up in my mind of recording it for however long I play it or streaming it because recording it it's okay it's the same in my mind right also this tipsiness is so tempting but I don't know if I'll ever get the gold to really make it work mm, I'll never have armor because in my mind this channel is too small to get viewers live. Why, what are these huge bubbles? Proximity defense, oh I see, okay. If I get close, they are defensive. So if I stream it, I'll likely just have zero viewers anyway. So it doesn't really make a difference. The only difference is Oh, this would be so good if I could wear armor. Do I just give up? Oh, but no, I just took a trait that said if I didn't have armor, I'd do extra damage. I'll just pick it up and sell it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then I'll take the int. Yeah, the only real difference is the quality of the end video will be worse if I stream it because YouTube will actually is that true surely right because it's uploading it in real time I don't know I guess if there's packet loss then that like that information is just gone right whereas if I upload the video myself it's like lossless I'm assuming yeah, I'll get a gin. Why not? Or a gin? Oh, how could I? Oh, what a choice. I don't know what these choices mean. Let's do power. Oh, is it gonna upgrade my thing? No, it's so, ah, okay. I mean, that's really good, but I kind of wish I had gone for wealth because this weapon will not be our final weapon. If we go into the mega death fight with this wand, we will die. I'm pretty confident of that. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, more damage. And then I keep forgetting about this dice and I don't know if we've been in the shop. I think these are these might be permanent. I don't know. We'll find out. 5% increased enemy health. Okay, so nothing happened when I touched it. But I feel like nothing happened. Wait, what the heck? You screwed my luck. I don't think that does anything if I have zero luck. So I think we're fine. Also, I don't know what luck does. Ooh, you, you. this is a gross fight with extra enemies. Yeah, we're gonna very quickly run into a wall with this weapon. And my scaling, actually, because I'm split. Ooh, this is, this is a, a tough run. This is gonna be really long, too. Because I think the rooms will only get longer as I get further into the game and then don't get more damage or if I don't just die. So you know if this run is like an hour long then I've won probably. But if it's a similar length to the last one I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> and if you don't know how long it is don't spoil yourself. Because the moment you look at that time bar... Okay, this is a good weapon, I think. And we actually have more strength than Int at this point, so... 
Uh, but we have the pearl ring. Oh, this run is so unfocused. I feel like I should be committing to one or the other, but I've been kind of waffling. But I don't know if it's me waffling or the game waffling. Yeah, this, this weapon seems good. Seems better than the other one. From the, the single room I've used it. Hmm. We can solve this. Ooh. Yeah, let's defy death. Dragon Slayer! Okay, this could save it. If you give me a great weapon, this, this can save the run. From my bad decisions. I mean, the, the games... This, okay. Ooh, I can't crit. Yeah, I can't crit. Ah. 300 to 330. It still does more damage. Oh, I, I kind of have to go into the armory. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Wait, did they change this? Or am I thinking of a different spear? One of the other spears was... Like, god awful. Thunderstorm S? But I'm going strength. I can't believe it. Uh, my brain. I don't know what to do. Um, so this is S and S. I think that's bad. Like, my hunch says that that's terrible. And I don't want to use that one, so I'm going to reroll. Oh, that was a terrible decision. Oh, maybe not. This is... I think this will kill us. But I will use it because it's cool looking. Yeah, this... This is not going to go well. Shop? You can save me, right? Those are... Oh, what the heck? Wait, that's great. Oh, I can't afford it! This is, I think this is actually worth it. Having three dashes instead of two is huge. Yeah, this weapon is gonna get me killed. So let's not use it. Ooh, oh, I have no money. I have one bomb. Okay. Maybe if I just tell a story, like my brain will kind of just take care of it. And then we'll all like black out and then I'll be at the victory screen. I don't think I should have used that bomb. Because now we can't get through the crystal door. Ah, ah, that's okay. So for Christmas this year, uh, this is being recorded in January. Uh, for Christmas this year, me and my brothers did a snack exchange, uh, which was new and fun because we never know oh, bombs. We never know what to get each other for Christmas, so it's always kind of a, a shot in the dark. Uh, it's always just like nobody knows what they're doing. I just took damage there for no reason, and you can never really know what's. What's happening? Okay, so the curse did pop that time. For some reason. But it's not there on my list. Who knows? Yeah, let's try and get a melee accessory. So we said, okay, maybe we'll do like $30. Just buy a bunch of snacks. For the other two people. And then on Christmas, you'll end up with a bunch of snacks. And that's always fun, right? Especially with, like, new snacks that you've never seen before. And this sounded great in theory, right? Because it's hard to really mess that up. Because if you're buying snacks that you've never eaten before, which is kind of the, the draw of it, just buy, like, <clears throat> the strangest snacks you can find, almost. Or stuff that you know or suspect might be great. And then Christmas rolls around, uh, and surprise, we all end up with a bunch of snacks. Uh, 
roughly $60 worth, right? So now I have a staggering amount of candy that I don't know what to do with. Because I don't really eat candy that much. But now I have a lot of it. Uh, I also ended up with... I don't remember what they're called. I think they're called banana kicks, maybe? I remember the wrapper had like a, a banana on the cover, surprising no one at all. But they were kind of like banana flavored Cheetos almost. They didn't have like the puff spawn. Ooh, it's pretty bad, but we don't deal magic. So it's better than no effect. They're like puffs. So imagine like a, a large puffed, I guess, potato? I don't actually know what it's made of, but there's no coating on it, but it tastes like artificial banana. Like if you've had banana Laffy Taffy's is the closest flavor I can compare it to. I don't even know if they sell those anymore, to be honest. Oh my God. Oh, did I really get res? Wait, that's terrible. Okay. On the soul pylon? That double laser gets me every time, too. It's like I'm, I'm blind to that particular thing. Yeah, it's like the... Cheese puffs are already kind of the, the most processed of processed foods. Right? They're just, they bear, like, almost no resemblance to anything natural. Which is fine. I mean, they taste pretty good. Um, if you're eating that sort of thing. What? I didn't even see that guy. Okay, yeah. This run is almost certainly going to be a loss. Um, I'm simply not paying enough attention. Yeah, I haven't finished the bag yet. It's, it's like the same size as... Um, one of the, a standard potato chip bag, I guess, like a single serving. But it's, it's so hard to get through because it tastes so much like artificial banana. You can only eat like a couple at a time. Dude, I think I'm screwed. Oh, okay. This is a good one. Fully re, yeah. Ooh, but I could be greedy. Yes, of course. I do so little damage. All, okay, all I need is one weapon. That's all I need, one weapon. Oh, and then, oh, that's pretty good. One of the other things I got was, which is, I think sweet potato chips. They are what I would imagine Pringles would be if they were made out of sweet potatoes. So they're actually pretty good. Tavern. Oh, I have a bunch of money. I don't have that tipsiness thing. Oh, there's not really anybody interesting here. A bomb. Actually, yeah, I'll buy a couple bombs. You sell sake, which I don't really care about. Yeah, I'll pay 10 gold for a full heal. Yeah, those are kind of... And then, like, three full bags of... Uh, mochi balls, I think. I don't remember if there's a more specific name, but they're like dry, not dry. Dude, I don't know the term. My brain is going much too slow to remember the term. Offhand. Oh, I want, I want the health. Slow mana scepter, I don't care. I guess we go for a plus three. Maybe we can get an extra dash. What was I? I was talking about a food item. It's gone. My brain. Okay, we can't unlock that anyway. What was the? Oh, this is gonna bug me. It's the the same sor sort of situation where you know it's in your memory and you know you'll be able to remember it. Like the next day. Okay, these 
sound like permanent curses. Minus one bomb found, there's no way that that's supposed to be just on this room. I don't buy that. That's, that would be ridiculous. Oh, okay, they do show up down here. Oh, okay, I should have been choosing a little more carefully, maybe. We didn't end up with terrible stuff, though. Uh, this late in the game, bombs don't really matter. As much. All it takes is one weapon, and this run can go from miserable to... Ooh, an I range weapon. I should have been slightly more specific. This run can go from a slog to maybe not a stomp. I don't know if there's a stomp hiding in this run. I think this character is kind of anti-stomp just because of his trait. Not having armor is kind of a sucky. Honestly, I could just ditch the trait and just roll with armor. Uh, and I think if I found one that offset the loss in proficiency, I would do it. But the thing is, I haven't. Oh. Uh, is this it? Maybe. No, we're still kicking. A little bit. The extra dash, I think, actually saved it. Yeah, the extra dash saved the run a little bit there. But that was only for seven. Ooh. I don't think... We certainly don't kill Megadeth. There's actually no way we kill Megadeth. So I think we ditch these and fight normal death like a coward. No, I don't have a... Okay. Yeah, but I think it'll still count for a Cinder victory if we kill normal death. Oh, what are you? Wait, Dexterity Growth. Interesting. It's too bad I didn't go Dex. Oh. Yeah, this run is a mishmash. Oh, and that curving bullet hit me. Yeah, it's, it's doomed. It's doomed. That's okay. I have no bombs. I have one key. I have no weapons. That's kind of the fun of it, right? Because even though this run sucks, it could all change. Just one armory. All I need is just one armory. Or a warrior stash. If I don't die on this room, it could save me. Please? That's a lot of S's. That's a lot of S's. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can buy that this is better. Oh, I could get two. Oh, shock. Wait, do I do shock? I do shock. Let's go. Okay. And do I ditch? No. I continue to be greedy. Yes. Yes. And then we sell everything we own. Is it, oh my, what did I sell? Wait, I, I wasn't reading. It's two handed so I can't even use the shield. Oh no. Okay, we'll sell it. And then we'll go for, this isn't, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so sad. This is not a strength weapon. I can't, I can, actually I can totally believe it. And I, oh, it was the, was it the mage ring that sold? Ooh, that would have been really good with this weapon. Oh, now you, now you know it's late. 
And the sad part is, it's still doing so much more damage than our, our strength weapon was doing. <laughs> That's so... Okay. Despite my mistakes, I feel like this could still be a victory. Wow. These suck. Minus 10 damage to bosses? Give me the poison. I think I die either way on one or two hits, so it's worth it because I'll just bleed the poison over two rooms. That, actually, I don't care about the ranged weapon anymore, so. Yeah. I think if I live this boss, there's a, a decent chance for the comeback. I guess it's not really a comeback, because I'm not really losing. But you know what I mean. Ah, <sighs> and of course there's more bots. Oh yeah. The damage is so much better. Like the difference that weapon qual- Oh, that's- I'm- Okay, not surprised. That was a fun run. I will come back to this. I think this is- the cinder system is- has been pretty good so far. I was not disappointed in the difficulty when I first released into early access, but uh, I did find it kind of easy. So this, this is great. Very happy with this. I'm happy to have lost, actually. Because then I get to play more of it. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll do another one.